you really wanted the relationship to work. You tried everything to try and keep everyone happy. And that's where it went wrong. As we listened to the beautiful birds this morning, little peewee magpies. You tried to make everyone happy. You tried to spread yourself too far. You become exhausted, worn out, sick, tired, alone. Your partner warned you that you were giving too much to everyone and you didn't want to face it. You didn't want to listen. That had consequences on the relationship to the point where your partner gave in. And quite frankly, at the time, you didn't care. You were too focused on yourself, too focused on the manipulations and control and leeching of your adult children who appeared to care, but when you found yourself in hospital, and when you went to hospital, you were always accompanied by the presence of your partner. That had gone now, you're on your own because you showed partiality, too much partiality to your children. And they sabotaged your relationship that give them the, your supply. You lost your supply of your partner, you chose the supply of your children and that didn't work. They were leeching on you and using you and you allowed that. You allowed that to happen, it didn't work for you. You've tried and hoped that your partner would ring back Um, but they haven't, they've met somebody else. You've turned to drugs and alcohol after leaving hospital to find a way of relief. Now the alcohol's poisoned your liver, your spleen's not working and you've got heart conditions. You've been told that marijuana will help with that but that's disrupting your mind, you're starting to hallucinate and have no, 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 here, quick, come on, quick. Now he's got a dead bird. And that's no different to someone on drugs, is it? They just put dirty things in their mouth. Get out of it. Come here. Come here, please, quick. Now it's not gonna listen. And in your mind, you know that things aren't right. Come here, please, now. Quick. No, he's in rebellion. And we all have that element of rebellion and he's gonna eat a dead bird. It's terrible. Come on, mate. Come on. We trauma bond to things and become addicted to things that aren't healthy for us. And it's very hard for us to find our way out. The addiction grips our mind and our habits, controls what we do. We, a lot of people lose their jobs and careers and potential by way of their addictions. and this affects their income. They end up in debt, which drives them to want more of a cure. They try and find people that they think are cure, but then they realize that they're not. They're not a cure at all. So 
So then they try and find another cure, but then they realise that people, you come to the point where you realise that people can't cure you. They can't cure you. Oh, jeez. Dog's eating a dead bird. And for many of us, we won't give up the things that we need to. We just keep gnawing away at the dead things in life. They bring deadness. Look at the dog, he ain't gonna let that go. Come here, please, watch, watch, watch. See? He's gonna run off with his dead bird, like people run off with their drugs and alcohol and chemicals. Nobody gets anywhere. Everybody ends up left out, in debt, and behind. Can't mend the breakup. Broken hearted, wanting the person to ring back and they don't. Find somebody else, find out that they're married or they're not interested. Only to cause more strife and trouble, more debt, more sickness. And then you see the light. All of a sudden you start to realise that you're not making choices that benefit you. You're trying to keep everybody else happy. And you've forgotten about yourself. You've ended up an addict. A functioning addict, of course. You were able to go to work and you had a job that luckily there wasn't too much accountability. But that didn't help in a way. That just enabled you to be more dependent on your substances and things. And you didn't benefit really. Uh, most of your money got wasted on your habits and things. And of course, as you got older, life started to slip away from you in the responsible sense of the word. You couldn't turn things around the way that you should have. You couldn't um, find a way of recovering from all the years that you wasted. Your body now has taken a serious toll. Your mind's just not the way it used to be. Um, you're suffering from delusions and you've got pride and conceitedness and hurtfulness. All these things added up on you. All these things took life away from you. And you just weren't able to find the answer. So you realized, all of a sudden you realized there's more going on here than meets the eye. There's more going on here than what's on the surface. And you, all of a sudden you realize that there's a, a dark realm that's been working on you to try and bring you undone for most of your life. And you start to realize that there's a, there's a better way. There's a light that shines in the darkness. You start to see the light. You start to realize that you can turn things around and you can become valuable. You can change your self-worth. Well, if God loves me, right? If God's for me, who can be against me? And you start to win back your self-worth. You start to win back your identity and who you are. And now you're starting to awake. You're starting to get value for yourself. You're starting to realize that nobody 
can take this away from you and that God is the same today, yesterday and forever and he will not let you down.